What's going on guys? It's Lieutenant Buzz Lightbeer and it is time to take a look at the proposed gear set changes in the upcoming mind-blowing update 1.4 that was announced today to be going live on October 25th for The Division. Keep in mind this is what the possible changes could be as this is from a preliminary list and Massive could tweak these even further prior to launching update 1.4. This is episode 4 of this 13 part series as I did not want to upload a 30 to 40 minute video with all 13 gear sets at once. In case you missed it, in episode 3 I reviewed the Predator's Mark gear set and make sure and check the video description for a link to that video. Most of the gear sets have been changed with some of the sets receiving heavy buffs and others nerfed in an attempt to get them all back onto an even playing field. Also, while I have been commentating, the general gear set changes have been posted on the screen including changes to the 2 and 4 piece sets and maximum level caps. And with all of this out of the way, let's get into the individual gear set changes. This episode will focus on the blind gear set and... Wait a second, when did they introduce this gear set into the division? Where are my notes? Just kidding guys, the blind gear set was introduced back in update 1.3 when the clear sky incursion was launched and at its core it was to be a hybrid darkness gear set that really never caught on as it had a strange mix of talents. Luckily in update 1.4 Massive has completely removed this forgotten gear set and completely replaced it with another gear set entitled the Banshee gear set. To compare these two sets, let's take a look at the current talents for the blind gear set. The two piece gave you 20% pulse critical hit damage, the three piece grants you 100% blind death resistance, and the four piece bonus activates the blind system which creates a flashbang effect at the position where you kill an enemy target. The proposed gear set changes will bring an entirely new banshee gear set so let's take a look at the talents of this newly introduced gear set. The two piece grants you 20% dark zone currency gains, the three piece gives you 10% damage to targets out of cover, and the four piece gear set bonus activates the banshee talent and grants you several different active and passive perks aimed at DZ players. While rogue, all ammo is completely refilled every 30 seconds and damage taken from non rogue players is reduced by 10%. And while non-rogue, damage to rogue players is increased by 10% and no dark zone XB or currency is lost on death. Starting off with the blind gear set and after dusting off my gear set pieces from my stash I gave it a thorough run through. I can now see why most of the player base has passed over this gear set as the weird mix of talents don't seem to synergize well together. The two piece crit hit damage works well for SMG users but the three piece bonus seems to be aimed at marksman rifle users that keep getting blinded by those pesky enemy snipers. The four piece bonus of activating a flashbang effect when killing a target is entirely too inconsistent. Throughout my time with the blind gear set I found that if you killed an enemy and activated the flashbang effect other enemies had to be quite close to the flashbang in order to be affected and even when they were the effects were far too short. In place of the forgotten blind gear set, Massive has replaced it with another soon to be forgotten gear set named Banshee. This gear set is entirely aimed at DZ exclusive players and looking over the on paper statistics, my initial thoughts are that this set is far too weak. Most of this gear set is based around 10% gains or reductions for DZ players and when you look at the small DZ gains, there is really nothing this gear set brings to the table that another gear set can't do better. I would absolutely like to receive more DZ currency and not lose XP or currency after dying while not rogue, but I believe this takes away the core of what playing in the DZ is all about. It is a high risk, high reward environment and to the victors go the spoils of war. Ammo can be obtained at any safe house and XP on kill can be rolled on most armor pieces. A flat 10% damage gain to targets out of cover and damage to rogues could be handy but I would much prefer another damage based gear set that gives me similar effects when attacking both rogues, non rogues and NPCs alike. We console players will have to see how the banshee kit pans out once update 1.4 launches but I can say that with at least from what I can see on paper this is a bottom tier gear set to have and farm for in update 1.4. 
As always, I would love to hear what you think about the possible gear set changes for Banshee and my gear set review. In addition, if you could take the time to rate the video with either a thumbs up or down, it would be greatly appreciated. If you want some more Lieutenant Buzz Lightbeer and my weapon reviews in your life, follow me on Twitter at Lieutenant Buzz Lightbeer. I am very proud about all of the work I put into my entire The Division Weapon Review playlist, and it really is the most comprehensive and accurate Division Weapon Review playlist on YouTube. So, if there is any weapon in the Division you have questions about, look no further than my reviews to answer any and all of your questions. And remember for my channel, likes, comments, subs are loved. Until my next The Division video, this has been Lieutenant Buzz Lightbeer, saying peace out.